Hi, I'm John from Autel. Today, I want to talk about a great feature offered on our entire family of TPMS tools. Whether you're using a TS-508 Wi-Fi, ITS-600, or TS-900, your Autel TPMS tool will have the ability to detect and report a low battery condition due to weak signal strength during testing of your customer's tire pressure monitoring system. Every car that comes through your bay doors should have a diagnostic performed on the TPMS system. Just because the malfunction indicator light is not illuminated doesn't mean that there are no issues with the system. The wheels may be in the wrong location relative to the location stored in the module, or the battery in one or more of the sensors may be weak, indicating a pending failure of the system. Performing a TPMS diagnosis will make certain that we determine the overall health of the system and warn the vehicle owner of any impending sensor failure due to battery life. Keep in mind, the batteries in modern TPMS sensors are only designed to last seven to nine years at the most. The low battery detection on our TPMS tools not only protects motorists from the dangers of a malfunctioning system, but it also helps your bottom line by allowing you to discover a maintenance issue that needs to be addressed. In a typical scenario where a low battery is discovered, all four or five sensors on the vehicle have been in operation for the same period of time. It's almost certain that the additional sensors will fail in short order. The best thing we can do to ensure the integrity and reliability of our service is to explain to the customer that all four or five sensors, if the spare is equipped, should be replaced at the same time. This will prevent the customer from returning for a subsequent visit to replace additional TPMS sensors. If the car is in for a replacement set of tires, there is significant labor overlap, making it less expensive for the customer to have both services performed at the same time. Let's use our ITS 600 to perform a TPMS diagnosis as part of our multi-point inspection. We activate each of our sensors and plug into the vehicle's OBD2 port to complete the process. We can see that there's a low battery icon present on the screen indicating which wheel location has a pending sensor failure. Remember, just because the sensor activated during testing doesn't mean that the battery is in good condition. Now we're going to talk to our customer about replacing all four sensors on this 2018 Infiniti Q60. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.